Hey everyone, Corey from AquariumCoop.com. Today we're adding a fish. This one comes from a customer. It sat in the store while I was on vacation, going through meds and all that. Uh, this customer bought this fish and asked that if it outgrew his tank, could he bring it to me? And I said yes, and that was probably a year, year and a half ago. And it happens to be a giraffe cat. So luckily we already have a giraffe cat in this tank. This one is twice as big, I would say. And uh, the goal is that it's hopefully gonna come through here and sift through all this sand. If we're lucky, Jimmy will be able to get shots of that before he posts this video. But it's gonna take all this algae and stuff that's settled into the sand and shoot it through its gills, and it's a sand sifter. And in the wild, something like this giraffe cat would follow hippos around and eat their poop. So, you know, it's gonna kinda do that in here. They just churn through that substrate. We still have our little baby one that's about this big. We only get to see it like once a week though because it likes to go in the log. So I'm hoping this much larger one will like to be out and about. It used to live with clown loaches and things like that. So it's kind of going from about a 100 gallon tank where it was, upgrading to an 800 gallon. So we're gonna put this in. Then we're gonna feed because who doesn't like watching that? And uh, you know, we'll probably see you in the next live stream. By the way, we're now, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, sign up for the newsletter. I'll put a link to that. And uh, we put out uh, emails for the Saturday to remind you plus we put out the deals and stuff like that so let me let me dump this guy in I don't have my uh, optimal placement of ladder this time but nevertheless should work there he is I say he it could be a she I don't know how to sex them But if you come and look at its mouth right here, you can see all the whiskers coming out. That's what it does. It feels along the rocks to find food particles. And then, try not to scare it. And then it'll just suck all the, the well, it can do gravel when it's larger. It's starting to do it. There you go, see? Already, see it's coming out as gills? That's what they do all day long. So that's why I call them kind of, they're a sand sifter. And that's what's gonna help keep some of the debris that's settling down in the gravel here. Well, not gravel, but sand up into the water column and then eventually out into the sump and that type of thing. So now what I'm gonna do is feed. Um, I thought I would show you guys, this is the second feeding of the day. We've got, this is cocktail shrimp, which you can just buy at a grocery store. That's just kind of, the clown loaches really love that and it can bulk up some of your predators, like if you have something like arowanas, that type of thing. And then there's lots of blood worms. And a lot of people don't know this, but like this is still frozen, so it floats. Blood worms, when they're thawed, Sink, same thing for shrimp. A lot of frozen foods are that way. So if you want it, if you want like all these tiger barbs to eat this, put it in frozen. If you want it to get down to bottom dwellers, then put it in thawed. So we're gonna just dump it in here and so it kind of just down it goes. We'll see if this guy gets excited. I mean, he's probably stressed out. He just came into this aquarium, obviously, but, um, you know, we'll see what he does there. Looks like the, ar the archers, for some reason, don't really like the frozen foods much. They love the just the Hikari pellets. So I put these in for them a couple times a day. They'll come up to the top and eat them. So I just put a few of those in. being it's a second meal and they'll probably come over in a bit and then these are other foods that I'm trying out so there's a lot of foods that we never end up selling online this is uh, a flake food by eLive and the first ingredient right here is brine shrimp they also make one with blood worms the problem is the flakes are crazy thick like they're you know, really thick. So while perfect for like platies and guppies and community fish, they're like too hard for them to eat. Like it's, it snaps like it's a cracker. So it's okay though for like African cichlids and stuff like this, but I'm not convinced that it'll ever be a good seller yet. Um, so I'm still just been testing it and using up the test products that I bought. And it's, it's really weird consistency though. So, you know. Oh, there's the other little draft cat. You can see him, he's grabbing, uh, grabbing with the clown loach to see if he'll come back out. But there's still a lot of clown loaches. People say like, where'd they all go? 
They just like to hide a lot. You see them back here, and you don't see them on the live stream as much, but you can see the clown look just coming in and out of that cave. And the small one, hopefully it will come out so you can see the size difference, but of course, since I pointed at it, would never do that. Try and get that razor blade out of there. <laughs> Somehow we dropped a razor blade in. I don't remember what I was working on. I must have been cutting tubing. And so I brought this home. And now it's finally in a place I might be able to grab it. It was back here. But we'll see if this plus my arm. All right. I'll be able to reach it. This guy just needs to move a little bit. Come on, buddy. I don't want you to cut yourself and. I'm tired of adding iron to this aquarium. He doesn't want to move. Yeah, he's not about moving. They're really gentle. I've been able to pick them up in the past and stuff like that. Terrashukins are more gentle, but there we go. I can. There we go. Get that out of there. It's the problem with the tank being. A lot of people ask what size tank this is. 40 inches tall, 8 feet long, 4 feet front to back. Uh, I've got an auto feeder on it. We run Fluval 2.0 lights. A couple of sumps above tank and below. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what it's like to feed this tank. We've got work to do and wanted to add that guy and hopefully he'll settle in and Jimmy can get some other shots later today. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how thick that flake is. It's still on my arm and from putting it in there, it's still, it's like thicker than, um, like cornflakes. Yeah, cornflakes. Yeah, I don't think it is. Kim yeah. Wants cornflakes. So it, yeah, it's like cornflakes. So yeah, I don't know that I can endorse it. I'm playing with it still. African cichlids do like the brine shrimp one. The the bloodworm one would be too much protein. So, but oh, if if they work out, I'll definitely carry them. But for now, we're just gonna watch a bunch of clown loaches and tiger barbs get fat. <laughs>